Hey Pickles and welcome back to another video or if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to stick around and subscribe. Today's tutorial is heavily inspired by a post I found on Instagram. I will leave the artist here, credit where credit is due. Please go and follow. I fell in love with this look instantly and when I got the two new Beauty Bay palettes, or new to me anyway, that I'm using in today's video, you'll see in a minute, I knew this was the look that I needed to recreate with them and I feel like it worked perfectly as per usual i primed with the p louise base i have tanned as you can tell from my orange hands i'm aware but we use shade rumor for today don't forget you can use my affiliate code leon audrey 10 at checkout for any and all of your p louise purchases mommy's using a one for two my little boy wanted in on the voiceover action and as he so perfectly said i am using a 142 brush from zoeva to apply my eye base this stunning piece of kit is the new romantic eyeshadow palette from beauty bay their own brand and i'm first up taking the shade claret as my first crease shade it's a really beautiful sort of deep berry pink more pink than red i would say although claret to me is a red shade but i'm not complaining it is gorgeous really nicely pigmented and i just used a morphe m506 brush to apply it in the shape that i wanted so winged it out just a little bit and then i took the shade ink which is the black from the same palette i didn't go in with this first because i didn't want black i just wanted it to darken up that claret shade as you will see and i used a p louise 124 brush to apply the black it is rapidly becoming one of my favorite little eyeshadow brushes and here i'm just blending back out and diffusing with that claret shade After that, I took the shade Birthday and a P. Louise 121 brush, which is a bit of a bigger, fluffier brush, as you can see. And I used that to blend out the edges of Claret, just really going over, taking my time to get a nice, blended out, diffused finish. And from this point, I continued on to do my usual back and forth blending or sandwich stages, whatever you prefer to call it, just to make sure everything was as vibrant as I wanted, but also nice and blended. We don't want any steppy colours, we just want a nice gradient from our darkest shade to our lightest. To begin the cut crease, I did my normal trick, which was to take a My Kit Co 0.2 brush and to use my number seven Radiant Cleansing Balm. Any makeup remover will do, but I trace the cut crease first and then remove what's been lifted, or I don't know how you'd call it, but I go in with a spatula and a Johnson's makeup wipe just to remove and create a clear lid. For the lid, I went in with the Acid Rain paint from Louise and Mama Mama Mitchell in blank canvas. You guys know I love this and I used a P. Louise 7071 brush. This is new to my collection but I actually already really love it for cut creases, brow carving, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, definitely a new favourite. And as per usual, if you've seen any of my other videos, you've seen this step so many times before. But I just go in and follow along with that crease we've already carved out. 
just laying a base down for what we're gonna put on the lid next and filling it in with that blank canvas. Once that was done and I'd patted the excess product off, I went in with my crease shade in Claret and blended that out into the outer V and also ink as well as you can see here just making sure the outer part of this cut crease matches the outer V nicely. For bringing the blend across the lid, I took another Beauty Bay palette. This is the Sunset Horizons palette. Um, it's been out quite a while now, but again, it is new to me. And I took the shade Flamingo, which is this really nice sort of raspberry pink. Quite bright without being neon. And I patted that between, well, on top of the end of Claret. And then I further blended that out across the lid with Reef which is honestly the shade that sold this palette to me. It's such a gorgeous, citrusy, vibrant orange. Now, bear in mind you don't need to set the P. Louise paints, but it's just sort of a habit I've gotten into over years of using concealers rather than the paints because they are a newer product on the market. So I took the shade Vanilla from the new Romantic palette and just set that front portion of the cut crease of the lid and then blended everything back through so it was all seamless and again not a steppy blend if you saw my last video you'll recognize this bad boy it is the beauty bay liquid crystals in the shade sensor now i would have preferred to use a gold shade for this i believe that's what they used in the inspiration picture um, but this was sort of the only shade that I had so we've got silver and I just used a nail art brush to build up a really thick line along the outline of that cut crease normally I strive to keep things as thin as possible but I actually really liked this sort of thicker line idea for the change for the sort of spotlight liner, I guess you could call it, I took blank canvas again. Didn't bother cleaning up underneath because I didn't really need to for this look. So as, as I said, I took blank canvas on a Zoeva lip brush and I didn't make too thick of a liner and I actually quite liked it because normally for my ombre liner or anything, I go really ham and really thick, but it made a nice change, yeah. This is why I love recreating looks from other artists and taking inspiration from other artists because it pushes you to tweak your own style and try new things that maybe you wouldn't normally and it's just a really fun way of supporting one another as well. I took Claret first of all on a Peaches and Cream Flat Definer brush and just pressed that straight onto a blank canvas. Uh, and then I, in a second, will take ink on the very outer parts as well. And I'm just creating sort of a spotlight blend. So blending through from the dark shade and then blending that through uh, the red. And then taking some more of that liquid crystal eyeshadow in sensor in the middle just to really bring out the just bring it all together basically i don't know what i'm on about the maybelline sky high mascara has fast become one of my favorites and i'm not usually very fussed about mascara but i really do recommend this one because it really grips the lashes and lengthens plus it's super black which goes amazing when we use false lashes these are majestic af from unicorn cosmetics and here you can see they are just gorgeous. They're a little bit gappy, so they really let that liner shine through. All good stuff. And then I just used Claret under the lower lash line, blended it out with Birthday again, and then ran a tiny little bit of ink right through the roots of the lashes just to mirror the crease and pull everything together.
inner corner and the brow highlight are also from the new romantic palette it is the shade oyster which is this nice sort of champagne gold shimmer very very beautiful so i popped that as i say in the inner corner and then under the brow just to give everything a little bit more of a shazam look and as a final touch i loved this part i took the acid rain paint in glow girl and the crisp finish paint in tangy tees it's the same formula just slightly different collections and on a zoeva winged liner brush i ombre my waterline with these these are completely safe for use on the waterline so i put glow girl on the outer tangy tees on the inner and just ombre them in the center and i love the way this looks it's just such a cool little finishing touch a little bit more mascara on those lower lashes and we were finished this was the finished look and i felt like such an awesome warm toned badass in this i am not gonna lie i actually loved it so please go and follow the original artist i did link her insta at the start of the video and i will pop it down in the description as well all my socials are down in the description as well so please make sure to go and follow me on every other platform i'm like a bad smell i'm all over the place but uh, yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching pickles and i will see you in the next one Take care and especially at the minute, just remember to stay safe. Bye-bye.